Hey guys, Vladimir here with Desktop Makes. I'm excited because tomorrow I leave for the Bay Area Maker Fair. But before I catch my flight out of here, I wanted to get a video out to you guys. Now, this is actually my first time going out to the Bay Area Maker Fair. I live on the East Coast, so every year I look forward to the World Maker Fair in New York and always have a great time there, but always wanted to check out Bay Area's version of the fair. So finally get a chance to go and I look forward to just walk around, soak in all the creativity and inspiration for some future videos. Okay, let's jump into the topic of today's video where I'll show you how to use one body to cut a shape from another body in Fusion 360. In my last video, I showed you how I modeled this tire in Fusion 360, specifically how I used the circular pattern tool to make these treads. Well, some of you asked about the little bead in the middle here and how I made that. So I didn't want to jump into it in the last video because I wanted to keep it focused and just talk about how I made the treads. So let's go into that a little bit in this video. So a little background there is that little bead there, the whole purpose of it is to go ahead and keep the tire in place. So once um, you print the tires, which I printed out of Ninja Flex, you just stretch it out over the wheel here and it'll snap right into that groove and keep the tires from slipping off. So that was the purpose. Um, if some of you were wondering, well, why did he, you know, why did I make that? So let's go ahead and, and jump into creating a new design here and I'll show you how exactly I made that little bead. But that would be a pretty simple video. So I wanted to take a step further and show you how I then used the tire to uh, cut out the groove from the wheel uh, using one of the combined tools in Fusion 360. Okay, I went ahead and modeled two bodies here. You see I have my wheel in yellow and the tire in green. Um, so to start, we'll go ahead and model the little bead around the tire, and then we'll use that bead to subtract the groove from the wheel. Okay, so let's start with the tire here. I'm gonna create a sketch perpendicular to this surface here, which I used to create the, the tire. Uh, so I'll go with the Z, Y plane here. You can see I'm gonna select that. And what I wanna do is project the inner part here um, of the circle. So I wanna know where this circle actually meets my plane. So to do that, I'm gonna hit P for project. And you can see if I hover over the inside circle, I get this, uh, red line that goes up to this point. But if I hover over the top part, that red line goes all the way up to uh, the top surface. So I just want that uh, inside surface projection. So I'm gonna click on that and then click OK. Now if I go to my left view here and I untoggle the body, there are those two lines. So I'm gonna connect them by going to my um, Create menu, grabbing my line tool, and just connect these two points. And now, again, if I bring tire back, you can see where that I drew that line. It's right where that inside surface uh, intersects with my plane here. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is just grab a circle tool here. I'm gonna go with a, a center diameter circle. I'm gonna reference that triangle there in the middle and I'm gonna go with a two millimeter circle. I think I did one on my actual design. I'm gonna go with two just cause it's gonna be easier to kind of show you. Okay, I'm gonna click finish sketch. Let's bring that tire back into view. And now I'm gonna grab my revolve tool from the create menu. So I'll go to create down to revolve and I'm gonna select the bottom half of that circle because that's the only part I need. And then in this dialog box for my axes, I can just select that inner surface there and you can see it went ahead and took that profile, revolved it around, and I have that little bead there. So my operation, I'm just gonna keep that as join. It's gonna join it to the um, body of the tire and that gives me that little bead there. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is use, um, go ahead and use this body to subtract um, from this body here. And because they line up perfectly, uh, wherever they intersect, it's actually gonna subtract, you know, it'll cut away that portion. So to do that, I'm gonna go to modify and down to combine. Now it's a little confusing because combine sounds like you wanna combine. Um, but when we look at the dialog box we get when we choose combine, we see that we actually have, um, three different operations we can choose. We have a cut, a join, or an intersect. 
Uh, I'm gonna go with the cut. My target body is going to be the wheel and my tool body is going to be the tire. Uh, now this is important, you wanna make sure to check keep tools and we'll click okay. And now if I untoggle the visibility of the tire, you'll see it went ahead and cut that groove right into that wheel. So now I have the tire um, with the groove that, or the little bead that we made with the revolve tool and we use that to cut a groove inside the wheel. Now the approach there is actually a little bit different than what I use for my wheel and tire. Because I'm printing out of Ninja Flex, I actually wanted the tire to be a little bit smaller so I can stretch it over the wheel. So if you see here, if I remove the tire or toggle it back into view, you'll see it's actually um, you know, just even a little bit smaller than the wheel here. Um, so the way I approach that is I just use two different revolves um, for the tire. I use the same idea that we did. I use the revolve as a join to make that bead. But for the groove on the wheel, instead of using the combine tool, I just used another revolve, um, but used a cut instead of a join. Um, but I thought it'd be you know, better to show you um, both the revolve and the combine tool. That's why I did it different for this video. All right, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Um, if you liked it, give it a like and subscribe for more videos. All right, I got to go pack for the Maker Fair. I got to leave here at 5 a.m. So I'll see you next week. Take care.